Hello Hunters! Dashiko here, and welcome back to Pokemon Light Platinum. This is part number 21. And last time, we took down the Lord in Pokemon League. And this time, well, I said we were going to take on Arceus, and I decided to catch it off screen because I feel like I have better luck when I'm not recording. So here we go, we captured Arceus. I decided to do it off screen because I have terrible luck when recording. So here we are. Arceus was captured. And there we go. And with that, Arceus has been captured, and now we can go back to the Loren region, and we'll do things from there. I'll try to make my way to the World Championships, but I have no idea how we're supposed to do it. Uh, like, I've tried looking around off screen, and I don't see how we can do it. Maybe I'll, I'll just have to look it up. Man, I look up so much stuff in this game because the game doesn't tell you nothing. We get we got the world we got the World Championships pass from Ash, but we're not told how to get there. I tried looking at Seamport City and the Balloon Port in Lauren, and I, I just can't find nothing, so I'm going to have to pause the recording, look it up, and I'll meet you guys whenever we figure it out and we can head over there. Alright guys, so I looked it up and I figured it out. To get to the World Championships, we have to take the train to the World Championships from Central City back in the Zeri region, so here we go. We're taking the train now, it's quite a long train ride, but here we are, we're now in the World Championships. I wonder which region it's a part of, or if it's like a mix of both, like Mount Silver. I don't know, but... Well, that that, that person said they're going to go to Lauren, so it must be the, the Zeri region. Uh, okay, just reused dialogue from one of the NPCs in here, okay. And yep, we're at the World Championships. I'm assuming it's part of the Zeri region because of what that person said they want to go to Lauren. Unless that's just reused dialogue that shows us that we are indeed in the Zeri region. And here is the train station. And now we're here at the World Championship, so I guess we're gonna take it on now. After we talk to everyone from here, of course. Oh, apparently it's gonna be like a whole tournament. That's gonna be crazy. Like Pokemon anime style leak tournaments. And oh, what was that cave? Hopefully we don't have to go there. It's that Reggie Temple. Oh. This is where we get the Reggies. Oh, Reggie Gigas, hello. Hello, Reggie Gigas. Okay, Reggie Gigas is here! I guess we're gonna catch this thing. I'll be right back while I catch this guy, because I don't like to catch while recording. So, we now caught Reggie Gigas, and now it's time to continue going through the World Champion area. And we're gonna see if we can take on the World Championships for real. Yeah, Reggie Gigas was quite a pain to capture. It, it took a little while, almost all my Ultra Balls. In fact, let me show you guys. I had over 30 before, and now look, four. <laughs> so, that'll show you guys just how stressful it was. And do we have a victory road ahead of us? I hope not, because I don't I'm not really a fan of victory roads. But here's the world champion area, and yep, it looks like we might have a victory road ahead of us. Or we might not, what do you have to say? Mountains route called Mount Wish that grants wishes of trainers? Mm, sounds like Jirachi territory. Don't know if I want to deal with that. Oh, and that's a victory road music right there. I don't know if I like the sound of that. And what's this? Mount... Is, it, is this Mount Wish? There's no sign. Nothing here! Alright, good. Good for me. Nothing else to explore. We just keep going straight forward. And we'll eventually make it to the World Champions area. Okay, the trainer? I don't think anyone has a trainer. I'm talking about Mount Wish as well. Okay, that, that was no victory road. It's just a, a, a path of water that we had to go through. To go to the World Championships. And looks like we're finally here. Every trainer wants to win, yes, of course. And they're all talking about the World Championships. Yeah, I hope we can win the World Championships. Assu assuming we're doing that today, this is the finale of Light Platinum, by the way, guys. I mean, the title's gonna give it away, of course, but... Like, I'm, just, I'm just saying, I'm not sure if it's the finale until... the end of this video, if this ends up being the finale. And what do all these people have to say? Nothing. And we can walk on top of the fountain, that's good to know. And they also want to win, win, win. Yep. So do I. We gotta win, and here we are, inside the World Championships area. And everyone wants to enter the World Tournament and try to win. I wonder how many battles we're gonna have to do. Hopefully not too much. I'm assuming we'll be healed in between each battle. Wait, let's talk about Ash. The current World Champion is Ash Ketchum. Yep. The strength is unbelievable. Well, I wonder how strong Pokemon are gonna be. We're putting that too underleveled, although I can almost guarantee they will be. And was that the reception right there? It's starting soon, many powerful trainers have arrived. There's already been a Pokemon League, yep. We have to so we have to already be a champion in order to try to be world champion. And it looks like this is it. 
Yes, we want to participate. Step into the tournament room. Here we are. Welcome to the World Championship. This is the first round of the tournament. So here we are in the World Championship. Anyone who loses the battle will be eliminated, but the winner will go on to the next round. The first battle is Koi versus Myrna. Let the battle begin! And they got a whole team of six Pokemon. Isn't that great? And oh yeah, I got Earthquake on Sparky now. I took my Rock Smash because we don't really need that move. So they got Donphan with Earthquake as well. But Argonian should deal with this just fine. Looks like right now we're not underleveled. So that's that's good. That's always good to hear. Let's bring, let's bring Sparky back in. It looks like this might be all six on six battles. If so, this might be a long episode. And Swellow up next. Sparky can deal with that. Get out of here, Swellow. Get wrecked, Swellow. And Pidgeot up next. Another bird. They're just all going to fall to my Sparky. There we go. Floatzel. Another Pokemon's going to fall to Sparky. There we go. And Floatzel's dead. Nice. Vero. Oh my gosh, these are just all just falling easily in one shot. If the entire league's this way, which I doubt it is, then this is going to be a cakewalk. Wow, you beat me. What a match. That's right. I win. Winners, Corey. Let's advance to the next round. And here we are on the next round. The second battle will be Corey versus Bruce. Let the battle begin. I'm assuming we were healed. I don't see why we, we wouldn't be. Oh, we're not healed. Okay. That's good to know. But we got Earthquake, so boys can easily push over. Hitmonchan. Let's go into Natsu for that one. And we'll use Fly. Oh, gosh. Skypercut still hits. That, that's how Skypercut works. Okay. Well, I got Fly, you butthead. Get out of here. Get one shot. Yeah. Polyrath. Let's go into Argonia. I feel like that's the best shot we have. And are we going to get healed in between any of these battles? I hope so, because I don't want to just have a, a large row of battles with no healing. And we just have to be overleveled in order to win. I would not like that. That would just be the worst. I yeah, hope we don't have to deal with that. No! Oh, counter! My favorite move. Never worked for me, but always worked for my opponents. Heck yeah. Oh my gosh, stop spamming the tech, please. Get out of here. Get wrecked by my Argonian or champ. Okay, Draco's gonna have to glide these fools, because I got nothing else to do. There we go, get out of here. When in doubt, just use glide on Drake. It's gonna take out everything. There we go. Bruce was defeated. Now you know the strength of the best trainers in the world. There we go, let's advance to the next round. The third round will be Koi versus Whis. Is that a... Who's that? It's just a random ace trainer. Okay. And yeah, Natsu still fainted, so we're not healed at all. Maybe we'll be healed eventually, but right now we're definitely not. Get out of here with Magius. Wall Rain we can stay in, just fine. And it's an easy one shot. I don't know if that was because of the crit or not. Floatzel again? Dude, you're just easy one shots for my Sparky. And it looks like they're up to level 70 now. They might be going up by five levels each round. If so, we're gonna get. We're going to get out-leveled pretty quick. In fact, we already kind of are. But Argonian still got this. Nidoking? Oh, gosh. Pretty tough. Are we going to one-shot, though? No, we're not. And Nidoking takes us down. But Sparky's got this with the good old... I guess... Rock Climb? That missed. And Sparky's not dead yet. Why did I use Rock Climb? That's so dumb of me. Well, at least Neo King is confused now. It's Lava Surf. There we go. And now Zeb Strike is up next. We don't have Sparky anymore because he fainted, so we're just going to have to stay in. And we'll Outrage, I guess. Oh, he's got Thrash. Good to know. But this will be a nice two shot. There we go. Get out of here, Zeb Strike. And you were defeated. And now we don't get to heal for this place. We're at the halfway point. It's time for a battle between two powerful trainers. Boy versus Yellow. At the halfway point, so we got four more battles after this. And oh gosh, we are not ready. We are not ready. Let it, why don't they let us heal? That's so dumb. So many things I just call to be call out to be dumb in this game, that's because they really are. Like, why can't we heal between League Battles? They do that in the anime, isn't and I thought this would be like the anime, but I guess it's not. And Yellow suddenly has six Pokemon now, but we can still win this with the power of our team. And yeah, they're up to level 80 somehow. How do you get so overleveled? Would my Pokemon are just falling back here? I, weren't they new rivals at one point? Now they're most definitely not. I don't understand the... I don't understand the whole thing with the lore and region rivals. Did they already start off strong? Or did, did they not even... Were they not even new at all? They just act like they were? Well, anyway, we got hit with a swagger and I healed it, so... We're pretty much going to sweep for the rest of this. 
So Sparky's got this. Sparky is our number one Pokemon. With Thunderbolt and Earthquake, he's just a beast. Look at that, one-shotting everything, even level 80s. Oh, Pikachu. Hello, Pikachu. Prepare to get one shot. There we go, Pikachu's trash. And Sparky will hold up. Good job. Once again, I'm, ama I'm amazed by your power. At least I lost some style. Good luck in the next round. Now we're advancing to the next round, again with no healing. It's time to battle against Diamond. Okay, we're back to battling our Zeri rivals. And Sparky's up against Torterra. That's not a good matchup, I must say. Let's go into... Morgan can be our heal bait for Draco, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, let's go heal up Draco. I would have liked it better if they healed us in between battles and we weren't allowed to heal in battles. That would have been nice, honestly. I, I would have liked it better that way, but... I guess you can't have everything your way, especially in Light Platinum where things are just weird. And now let's heal Sparky. Sparky's more reliable than than Argonian, so I want to heal Sparky first. But we want to go into Draco anyway. So Lava Surf. And another Lava Surf should do the trick. There we go, Torterra's down for the count. And Salamence is up next. That's pretty scary. But who's got this? Natsu, I guess. Oh gosh, Natsu probably doesn't have this at all. Let's try the Fire Blow. That doesn't do crud, and they have the Outrage. Fire Blow does... Two of them did half. That's great. Jaws. Okay. Let's see what Jaws can do. Surf. Hurt yourself. Uh, if you hurt yourself, this would be so much easier on me. Hurt yourself. Yes. Okay. Jaws wins. Thanks to RNG. Electrike. Is that seriously the Electrike you have up there? I'm gonna go Argonian on you then. Really? A level 85 Electrike. Okay. Good for you, Diamond. And Poleon's up next. I got this. Earthquake. That's, that's going to be a two-shot. Oh, gosh dang it. I thought we could get a one-shot in, but apparently not. Lava Surf. Oh, and they got Drill Peck again. And Draco just destroying everything. And Glide. Yes, we always go for Glide against those fire types. Flying, I mean. He's a... No fighting. Gosh dang it, me. We always go for Glide against those fighting types. And here's Magmortar. Magmortar gets Electivire, and Electivire wins by one-shotting. There we go. And Diamond was defeated. And now we're going to the semifinals. So it's time for a major confrontation. The first battle of the semifinals will be Koi versus Lance. Oh gosh. I can't deal with Lance. Level 90? Are they going to get to level 100? I can't deal with level 100s. Not with level 70s. They were Dactyl. Oh gosh. Good thing he's takedown. Oh, he's got Rockhead. That's dangerous. Let me just rock climb. Oh, Hyper Beam. Hooray. Considering we can't heal between battles, this is deadly. And honestly, really dumb. I'll admit. But, oh my gosh. How am I supposed to, how am I supposed to deal with this? When we can't heal in between battles and they go up to freaking level 90. This is honestly really, really stupid. You can't win against this. You can't. There, there's no hope. You're gonna lose. Oh my gosh. Please tell me you're confused. No, you're not. I'm gonna have to heal someone else. Argonian. And let me guess. One shot? Yep, a good old one shot. My favorite activity. Let's try to heal Draco. Hurt yourself! Nope, he got Hyper Beam. Oh, but he's gonna recharge, so Outrage? Ooh! That's exactly what we needed at this point. Oh yeah, Lance has his three Dragonites, but this time they're not underleveled at least. Don't know if that's a good thing or not. That's not a good thing at all. Oh gosh, we're gonna have to bring in Sparky. And Argonian's dead. Oh my gosh. What are we gonna do? We can't do anything. Oh my gosh, we have no more PP? Are you kidding me? Oh, or faster somehow. Hurt yourself! Yes! Heck yeah, Sparky was doing amazing, mostly because of RNG. And there's his third Dragonite. Let's try to bring Draco back. Oh, and he's wing attack for some reason. Okay. And then we'll bring in Argonian. And there's the Outrage. Argonian, come on. Hyper Potion on Argonian. Okay, is that going to one-shot? Nope. Hyper Potion Draco. And he's going to kill Argonian. And he's going to be confused, and then we have to roll out RNG again. Oh, we're faster somehow. Okay. Hurt yourself! No! Oh! Okay. We're doing good. 
Oh gosh, we lose. We lose this fight. Unless... Let's bring in Jaws! Okay. I don't think there's any way Charizard can one-shot Jaws. He's got Dragon Rage? Okay. Surf! And... That's it! We defeated Lance! Heck yeah! Your skills and power are really shocking. Such talent. And with that, we defeated Lance. The winner's score let's advance to the next round. It doesn't let us heal, so now we're going to have to deal with super high-level Pokemon. Level 100 with an unhealed team. Oh my gosh, Slight Platinum. I thought you couldn't get any dumber. I, in the beginning, I was like, okay, this game's alright, but it, it's a bit glitchy here and there, but it can't really get worse, can it? And then the World Championships came along and proved me wrong. <laughs> Oh my goodness. And now there's a solar beam that's definitely gonna one shot. Okay, Natsu, what can you do? Flamethrower. Oh, and there's a solar beam, but Natsu takes him down. Good job, Natsu. Taking down the level 100 Venusaur. Snorlax. Oh, we, we revived everyone but Jaws. Well, Jaws actually just died, that's why we didn't revive him. Now we gotta revive Jaws, though. And he blocked me. Okay, he blocked me on Twitter. Good to know. And roll out. Oh gosh, he's rolling. I see him rolling and I'm definitely hating. Ice smash. How much did that do? Not even half? Are you kidding me? How are we going to deal with this Snorlax? It's ridiculous. And he's rolling now. Can I take you down? Nope. What? We need. We really needed a lucky crit. We didn't get it. But, oh gosh, we have no PP left. Let's just rock climb. Oh, he missed! Come on. Oh, he missed too. Okay, we're safe. Because he missed. Blastoise, okay. I forgot we have no PP, gosh dang it. We don't have to, we don't have to Earthquake. And hope for the best. This is another problem with uh, with uh, us not being able to to heal in between battles. We run out of PP pretty fast. And this Blastoise actually has an attack on like, other Blastoises in the game. And we have no revive, so we just have to hope for the best. Okay, Argonian, can you take down this Blastoise? Of course, the move that has a high crit ratio isn't going to get a crit. That will just be stupid, right? Rain stop. He's probably going to go for a rain dance then. Yep, he does. Now he's going to protect. Yep, and cause us to get confused. Oh, there we go. Blastoise was defeated. Charizard's up next. Oh, gosh. We have nothing to deal with Charizard. Ah, oh, this is stupid. And now I'm confused. Do I have four stores? Yes, I do. Can't be championed without knowing how to spam four stores. And the rain stopped at the worst time. I would get the waterfall really would have benefited from that. But either way, waterfall will take you down. Goodbye, Charizard. And now Draco. Oh gosh, he has Espeon. This is basically Red's team from the original games. And let me try healing. What's Espeon gonna do? Psychic, that's gonna pack a punch! What am I gonna do? I can't I can't deal with this. He's invincible. Glide. Okay, I going for Psybeam for no reason. And okay, we lose. Good for me. This is impossible. What are you supposed to do? What are you supposed to do? It's impossible. Unless we grind it for like five hours, we're gonna lose every time. Oh my gosh. Well, I guess I'm not going to waste you guys' time by going through those battles again and again, so I guess I'll just meet you guys back when I'm actually doing good. Okay, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Whenever I get back to fighting Ash Ketchum. Oh my gosh, guys. I finally did it. After, I don't even know how long. It was probably an hour or more. But finally, I defeated Ash Ketchum, and we won the World Championship. Oh my gosh, that took way too long. I am exhausted. Incredible, now you're the new world champion. You're the best trainer in the world. It's about time. This took me way too long to get. But now, we defeated the world championships, and with that, Pokemon Light Platinum is done. We did it. We did it. Light Platinum is done. There's no more to do. Let's try going in here. Nothing. Alright, we're done. I mean, if we wanted to go for 100%, we could go after the legendaries, but... I'm not going for 100%, not in this run. Not, not in this game. I didn't glaze and leave green, but not 
this one. Actually, not really this green. I don't, I'm, I'm not sure about that one. But in Glaze, I did, but not like Platinum. Okay, apparently Arcus is a mean chow. And Reggie Goose is actually Reggie Gigas. Alright. Man, yeah, these are all the Pokemon in our PC. We've got quite a lot. We got three of the legendaries. And yeah, we managed to conquer Pokemon Light Platinum with our team. And this is our team at the end. Let me go in chronological order when I got them. I'm gonna try anyway. I don't remember the exact order, but. That goes something like this. Oh, yeah, they got. It was, it was like this. Yeah, this was the chronological order of our team. So let me go over them now. We had Natsu the Charizard, Sparky the Electivire, Jaws the Feraligator, Morgan the Butterfree, Argonian the Sceptile, and Draco the Dragonite. They're all three stage evolutions, I just realized. And I, all caught, and I caught them all at the first stage. So yeah, that's a team that brought that carried us through Pokemon Light Platinum. And now the journey is done. Pokemon Light Platinum is done at 21 episodes. So I hope you guys enjoyed this series. And it was a fun ride. But we're finally done now that we became the world champion. That, w that was really tough. We didn't the only reason why I was able to win is because in that I think it was my fourth try. I didn't have to deal with Lance's dragons on the se on the semifinal. That's the only reason why I was able to win, really, because Lance's three Dragonites are what really destroys my team and causes me to lose against Ash, but... Thanks to RNG, I was able to win. That was really all RNG-based, really. Getting lucky crits, what po and the trainers I would go up against. That really decides it all there. Unless you have level 100 as well, that's really the only way you're going to win, is by getting good luck. But yeah, that's it for Light Platinum. We're done here. So I hope to see you guys in the next video. I'm probably going to be starting off with Resolute right away. Or maybe I'll take a break and then start Resolute. I don't know. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the series, Pokemon Light Platinum. It's finally done after such a long time of running. It's... I think this... I think the first part of this series was my third video ever. And just now we finished it. 20 episodes after the first part, back in 2015. And now we're in 2018. It took way too long, but... We're finally done. So I hope to see you guys later. And final one for this series, happy hunting!